Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals, your buddy John Megacycle here. We are still in the first round of our AI only Command and Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath tournament. Holy crap, that's a lot of words for me to remember. <laughs> uh, first round we just concluded. Victory went to Steel Talons of Global Defense Initiative. Now we're moving on to the next. Um, you go in a round, so this is the next battle? I don't I don't do tournament logic, I don't know. Either way, imagine <laughs> uh, I should just draft up a bracket for this, but we're doing GDI versus GDI to find the best GDI to go against the best nod versus nod. Those two are going to fight off and then we'll do the same screen versus screen and then whoever wins the GDI versus nod will fight against screen. So, anyway, I've got the black hand and the marked of cane. We're actually setting the colors this time so it's not random. Black Hand to the north, Mart of Cain to the south. Um, I ran a few more tests, and the reason why I was joining a specific team like this was in general zero hour, the pathing actually gets completely screwed up if you don't do this. Um, if I marked myself as just any, like any enemy, what was happening is player two over here was actually moving to the player one slot, which is me, even though I'm dead. And it really screws with the pathing. So if I'm on the same team as player two, player two is going to still attack player three. Player three is still going to attack. And it, it was it was fine. It's how I fixed the pathing. But the problem is um, I had to be on a team here. I don't. I ran a couple more tests after our GDI fight. And so I think it's all good. So Black Hand versus Marked of Cain. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Again, rules 10,000. No limitation on technology or anything. We're just going to pop right in. I'm going to sell my stuff, and we're just going to move on with the commentary. Sold. Yep, sure have, buddy. Sure have. So, let's talk about both these factions, both the Brotherhood of Nod, as you can tell, very straightforward. The Black Hand has kind of shrugged off all stealth technology and embrace the purifying flame. So their flame units, especially the flame tank, is stronger. They also have, I think, one or two flame upgrades. Refinery for each. Plays really well into the Nod idea. Unfortunately, shrugging off stealth technology makes it a little more iffy, in my opinion, but it still can be really powerful with the flame tank. Marked of Cain... I believe they have much, much better lasers. Uh, they have cyborg infantry. Um, I guess from... Oh, a crane. Ooh, that's new. That's a new strat. Already our first deviation. Uh, okay, I was going to say, I still don't see a power plant. Uh, attack bike, okay. Interesting. Uh, this is moving a little bit faster than our GDI fights. Uh, are both of these in use? They're both in use. I'm going to smell that they both look like either war factories or refineries. Yeah, right there. And then what are you going to produce? Nothing because you're out of money. Yeah, you're flat broke. Uh, already two, three, three attack bikes. If the Marked of Cain rushed right now, four attack bikes, wow. Yeah, if Marked of Cain rushed right now, they could get Black Hand completely unawares. Three refineries... Three harvesters, I'm sure they'll sell refinery pretty soonish. Yep, there we go. Just saw it before I flipped. Is that another attack bike? Wow, five attack bikes. That's gonna be tough to deal with. Considering I don't see any real military here except for some militiamen. Are they militia? Oh, Confessor, Confessor Cabals. And the hallucinogenic grenades, yeah. Man, this is already dicey. One choosing to go better economy, one choosing to go better military. A lot of infantry. Okay, our first Scorpion tank. Scorpion tank, the main battle tank for the Brotherhood of Nod. It's not bad. It's not a bad light tank. It moves faster than the Predator, but it's kind of like it is for... Oh, okay. Radar, okay. <laughs> I keep interrupting myself because this is quite a bit different than our Global Defense Initiative match. A lot of vehicles. Yep, and there's our The Awakened. 
Everett the Wicked. Uh, the Black Hand's really going to have to pull some magic out of their hat. Because uh, this is a formidable strike force. It moves quick, so it's really effective as a hit and run. Get all the bikes, swoop around, attack like, let's say, this power plant, get in two or three shots off, and then run away. Not seeing any flame units. A lot of infantry. That infantry is going to shred these bikes. But I don't know what it's going to do against the tanks. Uh, the tanks can just run over the infantry. Yeah, which it's doing. Uh, tech center. Five power plants? Six power plants? What the heck? I'm genuinely confused as to how this is going to pay off without any base defense. Oh, cool. And an emissary. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good call. Just squeezel that past, because they're too stupid to retarget. <laughs> uh, uh, I count four harvesters, three refineries. Yeah, it really feels like Marked of Cain have this one in the bag already. I'm not seeing any military at all. One or two laser defense would keep these vehicles at bay. Pretty straightforward, but... There we go. Finally, some flame infantry. Which can absolutely cook the crap out of anything, especially with the upgrade. Yeah, see, it's not doing too bad. It does really great work against buildings. Like, incredibly good. I think two dragon tanks, and this could be quickly reversed. I mean, not in the current state. Holy crap. Alright, let's see what else is going on. Uh, we've got one Tiberium Spike claimed up there, one there. That one's unclaimed. Yeah, March of Cain really has this moving on. Pretty smart. Ugh, that's an interesting location for that to be in, but whatever. Black Hand, again, not using its strengths. Uh, one of my favorite techniques with Black Hand is using two dragon tanks, and you just rush. You just rush with all your heart. If you can take out a couple of power plants, that kind of is what counts. Now, a secret shrine, really important for Black Hand, but yep, see, just, they sell it right before the engineer gets close. And there's quite a few structures the AI will just do that. You just won't be able to capture them at all. A really good mix of troops here for the Marked of Cain. Uh, another really fun strat is using a Reckoner. A uh, Reckoner with the Flame Infantry. You just get into the middle of the enemy base, you deploy that Reckoner. It has a lot of armor. Like, a lot of armor. You can't just pop it with infantry. The infantry inside of the Reckoner cannot be auto-ejected via Grenadiers or Flame or anything, so... It works as a pretty sizable bunker. You can get a lot of damage done. Again. Concentrate on power plants, uh, radars, lightly armored structures. You can really, you can really pull a lot of rank. Yeah, Marked of Cain absolutely devastating all of that. I don't see anything up here for Black Hand. I don't see an answer to this question. Yep, and there's enough medium damage. To just get the job done. Okay, terrorists. Really good call. You can shred, yeah, that was that was a really good move. Didn't last too long considering this infantry is quite anti-infantry. So the terrorists are gonna get oh fanatics. The fanatics are gonna get shredded. Uh, you know, assuming the AI targets them at all. <laughs> Black hand putting up a pretty proper fight. Like, standing up for itself pretty well. That's not going to last very long, though. The AI just gets sick of the antics and just runs them over. Yeah, 
Again, a lot of unprotected engineers. Yep, this is going to do it right here. Unless those fanatics are exclusively targeting some of this anti-structure stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. They're getting some real mileage out of those fanatics, for sure. <laughs> just the reinforcements for Mark of Cain just keep coming. Yeah, I'd be very willing to call this where it is. Uh, but I want to give everyone a fair chance. The AI. I'm giving the AI a fair chance. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the tech. Starting to see some defenses over here, an air force. I believe Black Hand also doesn't have any access to any air force. That's another really, really big hit. I think I see all of the Tiberium Spikes captured on that side of the map by Mark of Cain. Black Hand has no more resources to harvest, so the harvesters have to go out of their comfort zone. If they had stealth, this wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, this recon bike, or attack bike, does have stealth detection, so that's unfortunate, but Black Hand doesn't have any stealth anyway, so this is kind of a moot point. Get that in a Reckoner, and you could still absolutely rinse a lot of this base. Uh, if it were me, probably deploy right here. If we were doing the Black Hand Reckoner rush. Power, 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 MCV. Yeah. I would hit the power first just to get him offline and reduce his production speed and everything else. Because it's almost, you click it, count to two, and it's dead. Like, you can knock out power plants so easily. Again, so many unguarded engineers just running around. Maybe it's not that expensive of a gamble right now, but $500 is still $500, right? Buddy, you wanna... There you go. Up, oh, Venoms are in. And the Venoms are gonna absolutely shred literally any infantry that Black Hand is gonna try to pull together. That's a lot of attack bikes. Uh, the attack bikes can also have, I think they're Tiberium Core missiles? Yeah, Tiberium Core missiles, which give them a little bit more of a harumph. But with something that attacks as quickly as it does, uh, it very much pays off. Uh, Tiberium Core missiles, I think, also outfit on stealth tanks. Does it say where it all fits on? No. Uh, but it also fits on stealth tanks, I believe. And the rocket infantry... And also the Sam defense for Nod. Yeah, this is going to be over very quickly with all these attack bikes. So, I believe the game ends when all production structures are destroyed. Uh, actually, because they just concentrated in the MCV, um, a lot of those units got, got, got. What do we have for reinforcements? We have our tech lab. Does this say? Uh, attack bikes, stealth tanks, SAM turrets with Tiberium Core missiles. Okay. I was close. Because I also said the infantry. Now, why aren't you guys attacking? Should see a sellout pretty soon. If not, they'll just wipe out those power plants and that'll be that. I'm not really seeing... Oh, okay, here we go. Avatars. Yep. Oh, Redeemer is the bigger avatar. So I did say it correctly before. Oh, Tiberium Troopers.
Yeah, see see how frail power plants are? You just shred them up real, real quick, like. There's not really a lot in the way of how that would stop. Alright. So far, Mark of Cain's looking really sharp. Using that Air Force to really, really good effect. Now this is interesting, look at that. Interesting. This is where we can see the rise of all the infantry. You can tell exactly when the attack occurred and how effective they were. So here was the step ramp up. Uh, infantry come in squads of anywhere from two when it's a sniper to six or seven when it's like militias or something like that. So that's why we see this ramp up because they're each counted as a, as a unit each. So one squad of infantry is what you purchase. But if it comes with seven units, those are each counted in here. So that's why we're seeing this stepladder jump. Uh, six minute mark is pretty much when that's split. And yeah, right right here is when we see the real, the real drop off. Black Hand didn't really have a lot going for it. So let's move right into the second match. We'll just do boop, boop, boop. And let's get to it. Let's see if Black Hand can pull... Ah, pink again. <laughs> Let's see if Black Hand can really turn this around. You have lost. I sure have. Oh. Ah, oh, what a travesty. I tried so hard. I tried... <laughs> Alright, Mark of Cain. Ah, uh, Refinery, clearly. And Refinery, clearly. Yep. As you mentioned in the previous video, the Refinery is not a bad opening hand. The thing is, when you place it, you're going to get your money faster because the harvester is spending more time collecting Tiberium. The only real downside is when you first place your refinery, you're already underpowered. So by and large, the second structure usually is a power plant. Um, unless you're, you've got some crazy build order I've never heard of. But it's usually how that pans out. Uh, what do we got? Either I'm going to guess a second refinery out of both parties. Oh, a, cr a crane. Okay. Not to be confused with the Crusher Crane, which was, I was about to say. Vehicles right away. Is it a Harvester or are we going Attack Bikes? Attack Bikes immediately. Mark of Cain really is playing to be the fan favorite here. I'm really excited to see how Steel Talon versus Mark of Cain is going to pan out. Both of them seem to be very, very rushy in terms of unit creation. How many attack bikes are we going to see? All right. We already see four attack bikes. Uh, I don't see any... I don't see any military here whatsoever. We're already out of cash. For Black Hand. Which makes that very unfortunate. What's this going to be? Another refinery? Yep, another refinery, and then that one gets sold. Yep. It's not a bad strat, because effectively what happens is you can build harvesters from two spots. One spot being your war factory, or in this case, it's going to be... What is this called? Oh, it is called a war factory, right. Uh, I thought it was an underground production facility or something. Uh, but your war factory can produce harvesters. Your MCV can then produce whole refineries. You can crank out a lot of really early economy without trying too hard. Again, the only real issue is you're deciding to make yourself vulnerable if that's what you go for. Operation Center is required for Reckoner and a few other mid-tier units. So I'm kind of curious where we're going to go with that. I don't see a War Factory. I don't see a Barracks. I don't see any base defenses. This is a really weird turtle I'm seeing here. And of Nod. Two, four, six, seven military units. Ah, ah, ah. Seven. Seven military units. Ah, ah, a tech lab, okay. Black Hand, what, what the hell are you doing? You're not producing anything. Is it because you don't have any money? Uh, uh, this is weird. It's weird seeing a tech bike move so slowly, too. Look at that. They're all in movement uh, follow mode. So they're moving as slow as the slowest unit, which is this, the Awakened unit. There's no production structures. What's the... 
I don't see any engineers. I don't see... Where did these guys come from? Oh, the sold refinery. Yeah, this is this is over. This is already this is already done. Okay, you are producing something. That second bar is gonna obviously be an emissary. Yeah. Oh, oh, you built a hand and nod, did you know? You're you're literally like three minutes too late. Cranes can't build defenses. So this construction yard better be cranking out some serious laser grid. Uh, laser nonsense, or this is going to be the fastest round ever. This is going to be, this is going to beat the GDI one by like thirty minutes. Nothing, anything, nothing. You built the Redeemer engineering facility. Are you serious? A Redeemer better come out of there, or you're hosed. That's a gutsy move. Like, right, honestly, right now, buy time. Power plants, laser defenses. Power plants, laser defenses. You need something. Uh, this is not looking good for Black Hando. A single Confessor Cabal. All that stands between the end and he's dead. I'm, if, if this is the strat, sell the tech center... Sell the calm center, sell sell everything that's not essential, get some defenses up, buy time for the Redeemer, because I'm guessing there's a Redeemer in there. The money flow is steady. The money flow is steady, but not enough. I mean, take a look at the minimap. We see a lot more territory control with Marked of Cain. Yeah, they're it's whatever's in there is not even being built. Yeah, there's not enough money to go around. This is a done deal. Yep, and we have reinforcements coming from the north already for Marked of Cain. I really wish we could have seen a lot more utilitarian use of flame here. It's kind of annoying seeing this entire faction just get picked off from... Uh... The, the bikes. Attack bikes. I always keep stumbling whenever I say attack bikes because they were called recon bikes in the first Command and Conquer. That Redeemer Engineering Facility, also crazy amounts of not cheap, and it's gone. Just like that. Uh, I cannot wait to see the unit count of this match because... I don't think this guy produced any units, aside from a few harvesters. His favorite unit is going to be these flamers, right? The black hand? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh! Oh, we've got a... We've got a... Oh, a hand of nod over here? We've got a whole, whole thing going on. Capture that. Please don't blow that up. Please don't blow that up. Okay. Well, that was a huge waste. Again, with the fanatics. Why with the fanatics? You've got perfectly good dragon tanks. You could have cranked out two dragon tanks and changed this whole thing. Yeah, right now... Yeah, Marked of Cain is everywhere. I'm seeing some very rudimentary base defenses, but still something. Uh, base defenses are great, not only for what they do... Anti-infantry, anti-air, anti-vehicle, but also detection. Detection is really important when fighting another Brotherhood of Nod. Nod has some really, really sneaky tools under its belt. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, clone army, uh, stealth field, or cloak field, or whatever it's called. You can get some serious work done with some of the Nod abilities. But this is already this is already wrapped up. What's going on up here? Oh, Tiberium Poisoning. Yeah, this is a real power combo. The, uh, I was going to say Recon Bikes. The Awakened and the Attack Bikes. Really, really a good a good powerhouse. Not a lot of armor. Not a lot of armor at all. But still, yeah. We're really seeing it here. I, I cannot wait to see this scorecard when we're done. Because I think literally nothing happened. Yeah, it's just it's just falling apart for the black hand. Mm 
Nuclear weapon online. Are you real or fake? You're a real one. There is a fake Temple of Nod. And you can know that this one's real. Because when you click on it, you'll see the Master Computer Countermeasures. Uh, if it was fake, that wouldn't be there. But yeah, you can... I think the Black Hand is the one that has capability of building a faked uh, Temple of Nod. None of that's going to matter, though. That's 5000 That's $5,000. Could have been better spent four or five flame tanks. Clean all this, all this infantry shenanigans up. Yep. This is definitely a done deal. No MCV. Uh, oh, okay. Already the Air Force. Black Hand versus... Or no. Uh, Marked of Cain versus Steel Talon is definitely going to be an interesting matchup, to say the least. I don't know if the Steel Talons are going to have enough stuff to make it work. Seeing a lot of diverse units here. Some... Let's just walk through it, right? We got some anti-vehicle, anti-structure here in the Scorpion tank. We have anti-infantry in the Awakened. Anti-vehicle, anti-structure with the militant rocket squad and the attack bikes. I mean, we've got a lot of all-rounder stuff. And all of this back here can also be anti-air. Not that Black Hand has any aircraft to deal with, but still. Okay, and this is all retreating. Is there something else over here? There isn't. That's weird. Okay, and we have the lasers that I mentioned before. Uh, oh, is it maybe... Oh, maybe you're using it just because of your promotion. I thought I saw a laser? What? Supercharged particle beams for the Venoms aren't researched yet. Okay, that's absolutely everything over there. This never got captured. We just have this last refinery. That's it. Okay. Uh, Marked of Cain, the victors of this matchup, they'll be going on to the second round to fight the Steel Talon. Yeah, look at this. There's no units. Where did... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did this come from? Are these all the fanatics? And then... Bu -bu 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 no. What was even here? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, because this is marked, and it just ramped up slowly, a couple of attack bikes and whatever, yeah. Oh, uh, that was weird. Alright, anyway. Uh, that's it for this match. Uh, next, we're going to see how the screen versus screen matchup pans out. And then we're going to get into the second round of the tournament. So thank you all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.